The unique Bruce Lee. But people still try to be like him even after his death. Brief Chuck is with you and I will show you the best Bruce Lee imitators. Let's start. Bruce L.I. is one of the Bruce Lee imitators. His real name is Hu Chun Tao. Was born in 1950 in Taiwan. He was practicing martial arts. Later he moved to Hong Kong, where he starred in a movie about Kung Fu as an extra character. Death of Bruce Lee gave Chan Tao many perspectives. Because he looked like Bruce Lee, he got offered a role in two films called Story of the Dragon and Bruce Lee against Superman. That made him one of the best actors. In total, he starred in 20 films as Bruce Lee and starred a new genre called Bruce Ploitation. All those films are about Bruce Lee. In 1976, he acted as Bruce Lee in seven movies. At the end of 70s, Chan Tao acted as a producer of Bruce Ploitation films. He started making those films before 70s, when Lee's popularity began to decrease. Then he moved to Taiwan, there he still lives. He works as a consultant of fighting scenes and teaches martial arts and also Win Chan style, which Bruce Lee was working out himself. Bruce Lee. Who's that? That's one of the legendary Bruce Lee impersonators. He is one of the most prepared ones. Le was studying martial arts just like Bruce Lee. His real name is Won Kin Lang. Born in 1915 in Parma. Moved to Macau, then Hong Kong, where he studied martial arts. In 1976, he appeared as Bruce Lee for the first time in a film called Bruce Lee Super Dragon. Also in other movies such as Bruce and Shao Li Kung Fu. Bruce Lee's Greatest Revenge, King Boxers 2 and also in an action movie called Bruce Lee's Impersonators. In 1981, Bruce Lee was in that film too and Dragon Lee. The plot of the movie is after Bruce Lee's death, scientists collect all Bruce Lee impersonators to teach them martial arts and let them end the mafia. Site called Kung Fu Cinema called it the worst cinema in the whole world, which has all the stupid cliches such as crazy scientists, bronze humans, death beams and naked women on the beach. This site also says that the only good thing about this film is Bo Yang's participations in the film. By the way, the future star of bloody sport. Further career of Bruce Lee is unknown. Online editions say that at the end of 80s he was in jail for drugs. No one can confirm or deny this. Dragon Lee, last of the three impersonators, he was born in South Korea, Man Kong Sik. His life was the most colorful out of all three impersonators. At the end of 15th, he and his family moved to ISSR. He even had a Soviet ID where his name was Vyacheslav Yakusny. At the start of 60s, his family moved back to Korea and there he started to learn Taekwondo and that led him to cinema. As a Bruce Lee clone, he debuted in 1977 in a film called The Real Bruce Lee and then appeared in 15 films such as Enter Free Dragons in 1978. There was a try to combine two Bruce Lee clones. The most interesting thing about Dragon Lee is that his last appear was in a film called I am not Bruce in 2015. Kim Tai Chang, that's a Korean who acted as Bruce Lee in several episodes of Game of Death, which Bruce Lee couldn't end. Film producers think that he did really well. In 1981, he acted as a Bruce Lee clone in second part of Game of Death. Popularity came to him in 1986. A film called No Retreat, No Surrender came out, where a young Belgian called Jean-Claude Van Damme acted in one of the first roles. Tae Chan acted as Bruce Lee's ghost who trains the main hero. The actor died from a disease in 2011 at 54 years. Yuan Biao A friend of Jackie Chan who started his career with Bruce Lee and ended up as a successful producer and an independent actor. Biao is a Peking opera graduate in Hong Kong a school where he learned about martial arts and acting. He studied with Jackie Chan and came to cinema with him. He, just like Jackie Chan, also acted as extras in Bruce Lee's films. He was understudy statement and he did fighting scenes. He acted as a Bruce Lee impersonator in a film called Game of Death. 
Lee started to create this film but died and couldn't end the film. Producers decided to finish the film. Bai Yao was a Lee impersonator. In the film his face was covered by black glasses. He stopped impersonating Bruce Lee quickly. Together with Jackie Chan and Sama Hung, he applied for a job in a company called Holden Harvest in Hong Kong and got popular because of comedy kung fu action movies. And uh, that's it guys. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. See you soon. Take care of yourself.